Okay, so this is the first one that I have, and it's just a little bit of, um, we call them rainbow beads, but they're very similar to fish rocks, like fish tank rocks. You can get at the dollar store, um, Walmart, wherever. And then I've added a few like paper towel rollers that I put color. I've added a few pom-poms. And so the kids just love to, we uh, have some tweezers. They love to just kind of sort um, and, and use the tweezers to pick up. Group. Pour. Um, I've also added here too just little like color buckets. They're just um, mouthwash cups. And so the kids, again, they could take their tweezers, great fine motor skills, great sorting, color matching, and then they can match. So, yeah, that's one that we do here. Lots of options you can do with that as well. Um, okay, so the next one I have is just like an orange sand. And I think it's mixed with a little bit of regular sand. Um, but I've added several things in here. Usually we just kind of stick to one thing. But, you know, you can do the animals, the trees. You can do little people. I've added some fun rocks. Just add some different things in it. Um, you can do like a tractor theme, like a farm. Um, sometimes they like to play with the cars and the monster trucks. You could build like little ramps. Um, and then one of their favorites is of course the construction site. Uh, so you can get little like play cones and little like play um, construction workers and add some different diggers and stuff like that in there. And then this is just another white sand um, that we have very soft therapeutic very nice so I added like a little rake you know just to calm calming uh, techniques and then another thing too I added just like a paintbrush you can use like an old makeup brush and then I've kind of hidden some letters um, some diamonds and different treasures you can use anything that you have at home or also the dollar store has lots of fun stuff and then the kids can just kind of, you know, it's like a little treasure hunt. They could sort. I added a little bucket so they could put all their like little treasures in. Again, all of this minus the sand was from the dollar store, basically. Um, and then the last one I have is water. Everybody loves to play with water. So today I put in like some seashells and different like sea rocks. Um, I've also added like a little magnifying glass so they can kind of see and explore. Um, you can change it up. You can add some glitter. Just, you know, who doesn't like glitter, right? You can change the water. You can put some food coloring in. Um, so really all your options are endless with these um sensory bins you can do so many different things at home you can use just pieces that you have um laying around the house you can use snow you can use dirt you can use leaves you can use grass um and these bins too are great they're from the dollar store as well um i know at home for my son i like to use one with the lid so that i can just put the lid on put it away and that's it so yeah, thanks guys for listening and I hope you enjoy and I hope you do some sensory bins of your own and when you do, maybe let us know. Thank you. Bye.